All right, so there's been a couple of rumors and tweets rumbling throughout the NFL this week. Lots of exciting things happening for many teams within the league. But let's be clear, nothing is final until after 4 p.m. today when the NFL starts its new league year. But as many said, this was going to be a busy offseason for the Falcons and their front office has hit the ground running. The first word of a Falcons offseason deal was from Ian Rappaport, who reported on Monday that the Falcons and the Patriots agreed to terms on a trade involving Patriots tight end Jonu Smith in exchange for the Falcons 2023 seventh round draft pick. If and when the trade is complete, Jonu Smith and head coach Arthur Smith will be reunited again. But this Smith relationship goes way back to 2017 when Jonu was drafted by the Tennessee Titans. Arthur Smith, the then Titans tight ends coach turned offensive coordinator, was there for Jonu's entire rookie contract. In that rookie contract, Jonu recorded 144 catches for over 1,300 yards. But both Smiths moved on from the Titans organization and now as the Falcons head coach, Arthur Smith has had a knack for reuniting with past tight ends. But the reports for the Falcons are just getting started, and Arthur Smith isn't the only coach on staff that is gunning for reunions of past players. NFL Network reported that both defensive tackle David Onyemata and linebacker Caden Ellis of the Saints have agreed to terms with the Falcons. Onyemata and Ellis have been coached under the Falcons' new defensive coordinator, Ryan Nielsen, who has spent the last five seasons with the Saints. And if the Falcons do sign these two, they would be jumping the rivalry ship. But as we all know, the fans were wanting a quarterback. And as a matter of fact, Ian Rappaport reported early Tuesday morning that Taylor Heineke of the Commanders has agreed to terms with the Falcons. Now, you may know Heineke best from the Commanders or a couple other teams throughout the league. And although he has mostly been noted as a backup quarterback, he spent a lot of time under center last season when Carson Wentz went down with a finger injury. Heineke was able to start consistently turning some heads and even buying a couple of Jordans along the way. If Heineke is signed, he will be the veteran for this quarterback group, allowing Desmond Rudder to work with someone who has experience with a plethora of offenses. And now for the splash that has people's heads turning. Once again, Ian Rappaport reported on Monday that Jesse Bates of the Cincinnati Bengals has agreed to terms with the Falcons. Over the last five years, Bates has recorded 461 tackles, 14 interceptions, and three forced fumbles. Bates received the franchise tag last season, but the Bengals decided to move forward without the tag this year. And well, the Falcons have reportedly taken advantage of it. Bates has been regarded as one of the best free agents of the year, and if the Falcons sign the safety, they could be moving in the right direction with their secondary. But all of these reports and possibilities floating around, let's talk about something that we do know for sure. Our friend Chris Lindstrom is here to stay. Lindstrom has signed a five-year extension with the team that will keep him in Atlanta through 2028. By signing this contract, Lindstrom is now the highest paid guard in NFL history. But with being named to the Pro Bowl, the AP All-Pro second team, and PFF's All-Pro team, not to mention being named the Falcons' Walter Payton Man of the Year last season, it is very well-deserved, and we could not be happier for him. There's lots of possibilities coming up for the Falcons, but remember, nothing across the league is final until contracts are signed, and that's allowed to happen to start today at 4 p.m. So, happy new league year to you, and this has been your Rapid Reaction, presented by Ticketmaster.